Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. I am Junglo, the owner of a Junglo Cage Fighting Series. Number three is going down March 26th in the heart of San Francisco Keysar Pavilion. Right next to me, I have Fresh coming off as a champion holding the SF Combat um, Featherweight belt. And now you are fighting for Dragon House interim um, Bandomweight belt at 135 pounds, but it weighed the day before the fight. So um, now let's introduce you to all the MMA fight fans out there. Who is James Gadrick? And where are you coming from and where are you born and raised? Well, I was born in Hayward, California. You know what I mean? I'm, uh, I stay in Brentwood, California right now. They call me Sauce Marley because I'm here to smoke everybody in the, uh, in the division. And no matter who it is, you feel me? I'm taking names, no prisoners. It's kill or be killed, Team Black. That's what I'm talking about. Sounds good. Now, so you born and raised of a native of Bay Area. Yes, sir. Uh, up and comer. Um, so do you do you live in Hayward the whole the whole time? No, nah, that was just when I was born, and then I grew up a little bit in uh, Pleasant Hill a little bit, and then uh, I moved towards Antioch, and I was out there uh, from like middle school up to high school, and then now I'm in the Brentwood uh, Antioch area right now. So now I have to ask you this, James: What's your nationality? I'm a uh, black and Portuguese. Yeah, because I can't tell. I'm like a Caucasian or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little French, little Creole in there. Oh yeah, yeah sir. that's pretty awesome. Um, now, how old are you, James? I'm 27 years old. What do you see yourself from here, like um, from here on? Um, I see myself taking over every, all belts, all weights. No matter who it is, I'm going to the UFC or whatever is ahead of that. I'm taking over everything, no matter all names. So whatever. let's talk a little bit about when you got into martial art. What's the first fundamental martial art that you got into? Um, well, I'm naturally a football player. But wow. I, start, I I did do a little Taekwondo. That would be my first martial arts. I did a little Taekwondo, and then I moved a little bit into boxing. But then, yeah, then I, I'm, a, I'm more of a football player. I, I've had, I'm, I'm 15 plus years of football. No kidding. Yes, sir. So a lot of tackle. Yes, sir. The takedown department is not going to be an issue. No, 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 no problem, no problem at all. <laughs> so now, um, you have a very good success as an amateur fighter. You are three and zero. It's undefeated. Yes, Definitely catch a lot of people's attention. Anyone from uh, Bantamweight for Featherweight, everyone have to keep their eyes on you. Now, your up and coming fight is fighting a Tense Planet Black Belt from uh, Warner Creek, I believe, uh, Alex Kanders. Uh, what's your thought to fighting a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu or Tense Planet Jiu Jitsu Black Belt? Doesn't really matter to me. Walk right through him. It's like a blank face to me, so I'm going right through him just like anybody else. You know what I mean? Nutting me. Do he's you just trying to hug my nuts. That's all he's trying to do. He wants to put his head on my nuts. <laughs> that shit ain't fucking working. So I'm shutting all that shit down real, real early, and he's going night night. Period. Point blank. <laughs> That's awesome. That's a real good, uh, real good uh, 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 game plan to coming into the fight. So it's a standard. Look like we have a classic matchup, guys. Um, striker, um, headhunter versus a grappler. Now, I know Alex is a slightly little smaller and shorter, um, so I'm assuming this fight, you're probably not gonna try to take him down more like you keep it on your feet and try to piece him out on your feet. Yeah, really, whatever the fight goes, you feel me? We, can, we stand up, he's getting knocked out, we hit the flow, he's gonna submit it, no matter what it is. I mean, I'm smashing him out. It's smash mouth all day, every day, let's get it. <laughs> That's really awesome. Um, now, on your childhood, when you're growing up, 27 of year age, what age do you start doing like first Taekwondo? What age do you got into martial arts? Uh, I was more around like five, six years old. Oh, damn. But I only did that for like a year. Okay. And it's just more like all this came in after my football career look kind of ended. I kind of was in school. I was fighting a lot. I was getting into riots. I was getting into fights. I was getting into rumbles. People would jump. I was in like gang wars and all type of stuff. So, you feel me? I just wanted to get out the streets and get back into the gym. You know what I mean? And, and if, if I got the talent, I'm whooping everybody on the street. Might as well come into the ring and put my talent out there and smash everybody in the ring too. Show them who the king is. How much longer, ideally, um, you want to keep doing amateur before you turn pro? Um, by the end of the year, I'm probably going pro. By the end of the year? Yeah, or coming in, yeah, just depending on what my coach feels. Whatever my coach feels is what I'm rocking. Now, you training with OG Dan? Yes, sir. Uh, Team uh, Black. Team Black, and has been around the game for a long time. Good old friend of mine. So, um, when did you start training with Dan? like four or five years ago okay. and then COVID kind of hit so we were kind of off a little bit but then coming back into the training we've been about four or five years yeah. and what uh what location of a gym do you primarily train at right now uh, we're in a uh, Concord Antioch area mm -hmm. yeah so I'm training at Combat Fitness a little bit and then I train at uh, Team Dub Maya 
in Antioch, so yeah, just all over, you know what I mean? Got affiliates. Well, we have a pretty much um, one or two fighters from every gym in the in the entire Bay Area is so going to be uh, participating on this upcoming event. Huge stack card. Um, we have ten professionals, uh, eleven to twelve amateur fights on this card. So making sure all the five fans out there, make sure you guys stay tuned. Check out DragonHouseMMA.com. The, the layout fight card is on the website. We are going to update it uh, next day or two. So even more uh, people you're going to see on the, on the fight card. Now, um, you walk around, what, what What do you walk around with right now? I know this fight's 135 pounds, and you're just coming off a fight like two weeks yeah, ago, right? Yeah, two weeks ago, somewhere around like yeah, 165, away. Yeah, 160, yeah. so, right, easy cut. Easy cut, yeah. Easy work, work. easy work, everything's easy work. It's all easy work. Do you have anybody, like, in 135, like, this is gonna be an interim title fight, right? Uh, you and Alex, whoever wins this fight, uh, May 28th, ideally, will be facing, um, uh, the, the, the person who hold the belt originally, Jeremy X. Quoter. He is a Taekwondo black belt who loves to strike and loves to kick. Doesn't touch the ground at all. Uh, do you any even any thoughts on him? I don't really know, bro, but shit, my Muay Thai shut that shit down real quick. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Well, yeah, man, not worry about his Taekwondo or his karate or none of that shit. You feel me? I'm banging his ass up. Kimbo Slice Style. Kimbo Slice Style? Yes, sir. That's Already pretty awesome. Kimbo. <laughs> yes, sir. Now, do you have, uh, if people want to get a hold of you, James, want to buy tickets, come watching you fight, how can people contact you? I just hit my phone or call, contact my coach, Dan Black, OG style, you feel me? You know we on Sauce Molly 420, Instagram. Hit me up, James Gidry Jr. on, on Facebook, or just contact Dan Black 420 on Instagram. So, what's your Instagram address again? Sauce Molly underscore 420. Okay, here we go, everybody. Yes, Make sir. sure you guys follow him. Uh, give him a thumbs up or give him a like and uh, also on Facebook as well, right? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, what's your Facebook address again? I'm James Gidry Jr. Hit me up. That's awesome. Now, if your opponent, Alex Kender, is watching this interview, what do you have to say to him? Night, night time. Double champ, baby. Double champ. One right here on this shoulder and one right here on this shoulder. Let's go. <laughs> That's awesome. Now, do you have any sponsor? Any special loved ones, any training partner, coaches that you want to shout out to for this upcoming fight? I just shout out my coach, man, for putting me through the hard work. You feel me in the grind? You feel me? That's going to get me this dub coming up. You heard that? This dub coming up. You know what I mean? And uh, just all my teammates, my girlfriend for supporting me. You know what I mean? My family and all my loved ones and the support I'm coming with and everybody. You feel me? It's Team Black Killer Be Killed. It's the takeover. That that's just that's all it is. That's that pretty quick. awesome. That's pretty awesome. Now, um, a subject off the the, the opponent in the fight. Um, I always, every interview, I always try to interview and talk a little bit about um, every fighter, how they train, because a lot of audience, they just love to hear it. What, what do you do in training-wise, uh, preparing for your conditioning and your cardio? What would you do usually to train for your cardio? You got to run it, you know what I mean? You, gotta, so you just got to train hard. You got to push yourself to the limit every single time, you know what I mean? If you're not pushing yourself to the limit, you're not getting any better, you know what I mean? You got to... You gotta think, you gotta play, train smart, train hard, you know what I mean? Push yourself to the limit, and that's, that's all it is, you know what I mean? Practice every single aspect of the game, ground, top, whatever it is, you feel me? Be well rounded. That's all it is. You bring your heart to the game, that's what's gonna win the fight, the heart. How do you win the last fight two weeks ago? Like I said, heart. You feel me? It's heart over hype, you know what I mean? All that talk, all that shit, he's gonna be taking me down or whatever the fuck he thinks he's gonna be doing. At the end of the day, when I hit him in his fucking mouth, all that game plan shit's going out the window, so we're gonna figure it out from there. Did you did you win your last fight? Uh, went to decision? Or you yeah, finished? decision. Split decision. decision. Yeah, against a tough opponent. Yeah, it, it, it was tough. You know what I mean? He was going out, but he was tough. So we'll figure it out. We're just moving on. It's knockout season, takeover season, split decision, all wins. It don't matter. Dub season. Dub season. Yes, sir. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. So for all the people out there, want to check into this upcoming event, making sure this will be the main event on the undercard for the Fandomway interim title. The winner of the fight <clears throat> will fight in March, May 28th against Jeremy X. Quoter. And I'm sure the champ will be there watching as well. We definitely have to call him out. Whoever winning this fight, uh, up to the stage, we have a little bit of an uh, interview at that moment. So for more info, make sure you check out DragonHouseMMA.com. And please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Help my YouTube channel grow. Uh, all the MMA fight fans out there, always appreciate it and love all the sub support out there. And uh, we'll see you guys March 26th in the heart of San Francisco, Keys are Pavilion. Now, on this upcoming card, after this, May 28th, and then August 20th, we are doing another huge show in the Cow Palace. 
August 20. Make sure you guys stay tuned. All fighters want to get on the card. Make sure you guys DM me. The one after the last fight of the year is November 12th. So do not miss it out. And here we go. We have the up and comer, James Gadry, um, making a Dragon House debut. And uh, I'm very excited to have this young kid, gentleman, coming up and then fighting on this upcoming event. Uh, any last word you want to say to anyone else, James? It's Team Black Takeover, baby. <laughs> I'm John Lowe signing out. We'll see you guys March 26th.